Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, I got a great question from a friend, subscriber, Scott Hathaway. Where did you get this spirits uh, uh, distributor uh, can? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's talk about it and let's make one. Uh, I think we can do it together. Uh, stick around if you're into that. and Let's do this. Right, Scott thanks for the uh, question and uh, it's a good one so I will tell you I have yet to find another one like this that is this long um, I believe that these are for lighting um, irons old like Coleman style irons you know that, that burn uh, you know much like our lanterns and things like that do today and I think that this was uh, for like sad heaters and and uh, and lanterns. So uh, and I've I've had other ones and uh, they were smaller. And then this this one is not nearly as long. So as you can tell, if you're going to go up into your lantern, let's try it. Let's just grab. Let's grab this guy down here. If you're not familiar. There's holes down here for lighting matches, but let's say this is a kerosene lantern and you wanted to go up in here and then you wanted to pour and fill up a spirits cup for preheating your generator. That's what we're talking about today. So Scott hit me up to this afternoon and I ran to the auto parts store and I talked to my guy down there and he hooked me up. I think that this is going to work. This is uh, copper tubing. It's not brass tubing. I'd rather have brass, but this is a kit. And I'll tell you what the part number is. It's an oil pressure copper tubing kit, number 9901. And the manufacturer is Equus, E Q U U S. It was 13 bucks. And, uh, that's what the uh, brand looks like. It's a good amount of, good amount of uh, copper. And what I was thinking is we could, you know, take this, take the. I I I just tried to cut this piece off here because I'm going to try my hand at brazing. But uh, you know, we could take this and shape this around, and we can get our we can use mine as a template, right? So. You know, it'll be something like this, like that. This is pretty stout, so this is this is definitely going to work. Uh, and we're getting closer, and give ourselves plenty to come down here. So I think there we go. We got it. Now the next thing. Uh, that I want to talk about is what came in that kit. You got a couple of um, brass fittings. Like this is the female side and it has a flaring. So there's there's actually like a, a little copper or a little brass. Um, oh, what am I what am I looking for? Uh, swage swage. I think that's the word for it. Uh, it comes in through there, and this will drop in that, and then as you tighten it, it'll flare up and give you a nice, you know, tight seal. And so this was, this is the female end of it. This is the male end of it. And what I was thinking is you take your, uh, your length that you're comfortable with, okay, and you uh, secure your tubing in, in the top side of the flare, and then take any can that you might have. Like for instance, this is a this is a empty uh, liquid wrench can. Okay, and I like this one because it's got a metal top and it's already got a hole drilled in it and everything. And there's nothing in this one right now. So technically, I could drill. I can oversize this hole, and then I could put this fitting. Let's take this off through here and nut it on the inside. Does that make sense? Let's try it. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just double check that we got this where we want it. And then, uh, and I think that's going to be fine. I'll reshape it. And then uh, I'm going to cut it right here. I'll be right back. All right, slammed on the brakes. We're actually not going to drill this fat side at all. We're going to drill this smaller side. It's going to come up through the inside and then we're going to come down with this. So we're drilling a much smaller hole. Now we're now we're talking just a skosh over a quarter. So um, that's what we'll do. So this guy right here, I'm going to pop out because we're not going to use it. There we go. We pop that out. Oh my gosh, it's got a good size hole in there already. Look at that. And I don't have that swage in there. I'm just going to test fit this. All right, slight change. I pivoted and now I'm using, I cut this off. This was the tip that has this, uh, nice uh, neoprene or plastic uh, washer on the inside that fits so nicely in there. I'm going to leave that in here and use it as my washer. At least I hope. I'm wondering if I shouldn't put a gasket on here. So let me put or an O-ring. So I'm going to go to a Go to an O-ring. And see what uh, what will fit on that collar. Nice and snug. Uh, let's see. Maybe this guy. Yeah. Perfect. See that? Now... If I could drill that out and get that to come through there nicely, I think we're going to be good. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but I think it's going to be okay. Get this burr out of here. Now, with the O-ring through the bottom side, can I just thread it? Do I have the right drill to just thread it through there? That's a little better. Oh, it did. It, it, it caught. It caught in there. It's wanting to do it. Come on, baby. Yeah. I think it's going to go now. See that? It's almost there. Yep. Okay. So now that is through there. We got the original uh, plastic that was on the inside there. And now let's just hope we have enough thread here for the, uh, the swage accent action to do its job. So let's remind me which side is the so that's the bottom now we want we want this nut to be up here then we want that's fluted okay then we want this to be on there like so
and then we need to slide the swage on there and then we're going to tighten this nut down oh we need a washer this is where i'm not thinking that we're going to have enough thread because of the thickness of that washer dag diggity what are we going to do there you know what are we going to do there should we try to go for it without the washer and see what happens? What will it hurt? So we're going to do it. All right, so it's a deep. It's a deep. Deep 7 16 And a 3 8 Come on, baby. How much is it going to take to flare that inside there? And will that give us what we need to seal? It's tightening. I think it's, I mean, worst case, we've got to go and get a, uh, that is tight. Worst case is we're going to need to have uh, a, um, probably a neoprene washer up here on the top, which I can run down and get, but let's, let's try it. There it is. There is our rig. And look at that, just happened to land where we needed it to. And there you have it. Will it seal? Let's see. I, uh, I have a suspicion it's not going to. But let me go get something in here and we'll try it. Pretty sure it's going to leak. It doesn't, it doesn't leak. Um, it should, it should actually leak, but it doesn't. There you have it. Okay. Now I'm going to shape, I'm going to shape this so that it does its job. perfectly and uh, there you have it there you go Scott there's your uh, there's your your uh, rig and I'll just pour a little on my rubber here look at that slicker and I'll get out so there you have it there's there's uh, one way of doing it um, I you know if you're handy with brazing I would just braze this right on, drill it super tight and push that in there and then uh, braze it. But I only have, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't have the right brazing rod, otherwise I would try that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a neoprene washer, I'm going to lift this and then put that on there and then snug it back on there. And now I'll have a second primer can for my second workbench. Thanks for tuning in, that was fun. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you got any other suggestions, let me know. And until then, I'll see you around.